welcome back to Modern Living TV. I hope you caught our last segment with Alex Seduke of Move Ed because I am actually going to embark on a project with her for her latest collection of personalities. Alex, tell me first a bit about this particular project. Okay, this particular project is called Stationary for a Cause. It's our third year doing it. Um, it's been received warmer and warmer every year, so we're hoping for the same reception this year. And last year, we tried to tweak it a bit. I told the owners of personalities that, you know, we wanted to find a way to give back to lo loyal personalities, clients, as well as move as supporters like you. And I'm like, it also helps me because I can't always think of 50 designs a year. Like, I go crazy, right? Every Stationary for a Cause collaboration begins with a short Q&A with Alex. Similar to a creative brief, this will become the basis of Alex and her team's design and final output. Okay, so the set that we're gonna make for you, is it personal use, family use? I think, you know what, family use, because I have an idea in my mind. Okay, so the names that we're gonna print are... Maybe just the Craspies? So what are three traits? about your family's personality that you want the design to reflect? I think we're very European in many ways. At least my husband is like with the kids and it really reflects a lot in our clothing. Like he doesn't like the boys wearing black or dark colors. So there's a lot of blue and white and pastel. The other one is that we really embrace living in the tropics and the Philippines. So that is one thing that um, is a big part of our lives. So. I know you like blue and white a lot. Yeah, I know. So it's blog. funny. I so I used to love like bright warm colors, and then because I was just surrounded by testosterone, <laughs> like my sons and and my husband, I really started to love um, blue and white. But I still like that sort of vibrant, fun, tropical. Um, cultural and ethnic qualities that I inject into my clothing. Do so you like like the Ikat print? I love Ikat print. <laughs> okay. We discuss the palette, the fonts, and the pattern possibilities that can be explored for Alex's design for my stationery. I can't wait to see what she came up with after a little creative brainstorming session. Oh gosh, that's so hard to choose. So this time, Alex and I will be joined by Principality's owner, Chui Bailon. Okay, tell me first a little bit about Principality's and then how you guys started working together. Principality's actually by the very name, it was conceptualized to be print your own personality. So we started with personalized stuff, personalized stationery, um, stickers, memo pads, name yes. it, right? Then we ventured into wedding invitations, which we became known for. Okay. How the relationship started with Alex, she was our client, we did her debut, 18th oh, birthday nice. invitation, which okay. is about seven years ago. And I believe that started the love affair between her and Principalities. And then the last year you guys started your collaboration, right? No, two years, years ago. ago, two years this ago. This is our third year already. Okay. Actually. Remind us a little bit again about that process. So you guys, you print, um, you design. I design for them and they render it into um, their beautiful paper and we sell it as correspondence cards or note cards that are sold in sets. And it's actually part of this collection called Stationery for a Cause. Okay. Because a portion of the proceeds are donated to MoveEd, yeah. which yeah. you guys covered also. Which is really great. You know, I think a lot of people now, they want their money to go further, right? Exactly. So not just buy a product, but you're buying a story, you're helping people, you're, you know, you want to make an impact, right? So let's take a look at what you guys have here. Yes. Okay, so this was last year. Yeah. So this is with Tutsi Angara. Yeah. Oh, Belair. Look how nice. It's so nice because you can really see people's personalities. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Now let's see the different packages that you can choose from when you get your personalized stationery done at Prince and Ellie's. Our sets come with a combination of big cards and small folded cards and a generic bag. Nice. Um, it's for everyday use. You know? So even the choices of the envelopes, Alex and I work together in choosing what we feel are the best um, envelopes that will go with, match with the design. Actually, we have about eight different packages, but this is yeah, this is just one. And how much are, well, do they retail for? Um, they range from five fifty to as much as two thousand, okay. so depending on the package. And now it's time for the great reveal. Let's take a look at Alex's design for my personalized stationery set. 
Oh, so exciting. The blue ikat. That's beautiful. And the whimsical travel elements that I you love want. it. I love it. So, you know, I was explaining to Alex. The, the funny story is that Maxi has a little monkey and he was born in the year of, a mon of the monkey and his oh. little leg blank he is a monkey. And Sebastian's blankie is an elephant. And That's so the so funny, funny thing is like my my son, Sebastian, he's like a bit bigger and like boxier. And then Maxie's like long Skinny. lean and he's like moving oh, around. So it really represents yeah. like the two of them really well. We're soon. actually very excited to render this when she showed us yeah, the drawing. So exciting. Super it's so cute guys. Like take a take a look. Thanks so much. This is so cute. Super. Watch out how we will render it. Yeah, that's it. I want to see yeah. how it's going to look and everything. Yeah, yes. great.